Guy working as a living statue in the town square has been motionless for hours. He can't move because right at point blank range, he's being stared at by a scary, embittered zombie. Something caused a real zombie apocalypse. And now there's absolute hell all around, and the entire town square crawls with the walking dead. The zombies aggressively pounce on the remaining humans and devour them alive. The whole place is covered in blood and guts. A zombie continues to stare into the eyes of the golden-haired monument stubbornly. He holds on as best he can and thinks about the fact that he hasn't breathed in maybe five minutes. If this keeps up, he's just going to pass out. He takes a barely noticeable breath. But his immobile body is slowly beginning to fail its owner. His legs are cramping, his numb hands are already shaking, and worst of all, his nose is starting to itch. Out of worry, a drop of sweat slowly drips down his temple. Suddenly, some zombies nearby catch a man, and his screaming finally distracts the pesky zombie. During this long-awaited pause, he gets a lucky chance to catch his breath, stretch his legs, and change this annoying pose a little. And while the zombies are eating the man right at his feet, he can't take it anymore and pees right above them. Meanwhile, the zombies tear their victim to pieces, blood and guts flying in all directions and one of them falling right on his shoulder. At that moment, he becomes uncomfortable and struggles to keep from throwing up. Suddenly his cheeks puff up, and his mouth fills with vomit. But he heroically holds back his gagging and swallows it all back up. He gets sick and distracts himself in order to focus on something else. He decides to take a good look around and see how his colleagues are doing. The merry clown Barty, unfortunately did not survive. He fought heroically to the last, but the forces were unequal. All that was left of the painter Pascal was a bloody canvas and a severed arm dangling from his easel. But the black painted wheelbarrow man is quite alright. Not only that, moving with his wheelbarrow at a snail's pace, he even manages to get away little by little. Our hero is sincerely rooting for his colleague and wishes him success. But then out of nowhere, two zombies appear fighting over someone's severed head. The head falls out of their hands and right into the wheelbarrow, moving and giving the remaining signs of life. The poor wheelbarrow man tries to pull himself together but eventually vomits. The zombies, wandering around, spot the stumbling victim and pounce on him mercilessly. He tries to resist, but to no avail. Watching the inglorious defeat of his buddy, the guy sheds a barely noticeable tear. And while most of the zombies are busy eating his colleague, our hero decides to use the situation to escape. The guy musters his courage, utters the mantra that he's not going to die today, jumps gracefully down the stairs, and twists his leg. A loud crunch and subsequent scream immediately draw the attention of the entire square, and they don't hesitate to follow our limping statue. Slowly waddling, he turns into an alley, but the zombies keep up and still confidently pursue him. He tries to cover his tracks, loops around the block, and, turning the corner, hides under a concrete staircase. The zombies slowly pass, and our hero cautiously climbs out from under the stairs. Thinking he has outplayed everyone, he is genuinely happy about his luck and tries to dance triumphantly in robot style. But as he slowly turns back around, he notices that his jubilation has attracted a new, even larger crowd of the dead, from which there is no hiding. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.